Main Gear's Vector 2 featuring the 10750H and RTX 2060 thermal throttles within minutes while gaming as demonstrated in real time in my review. Now this is a repaste video should you need it. I use Phobia Nano Grease and I have torn down too many laptops to count. Sadly, new paste only delayed the inevitable and thermal throttling still occurs. As you can see here, the chassis still can't cope without hitting high temps. However, long gaming sessions on this laptop several months post ownership and you'll start to see the GPU power throttle more and more as it tries to cool itself. So this guide will certainly bring back some lost performance at some point. To begin, first remove the 11 Phillips head screws, then pry away starting at the front of the chassis. The bottom panel is held on with tabs and they haven't broken off yet and I've had this bottom cover off at least six times. Then unplug the battery and both fan cables. Next remove the three screws per fan followed by the seven screws that hold the cooler to the motherboard. One of these screws is hidden under this foil tape. After this, you'll need to detach the black tape and leave it sticking straight up so it can slip between the cooler and the fan. You'll need this to be in place during assembly as well. Carefully pry up on the cooler, respect it, do not bend it, that's what he said. Next, carefully remove the old thermal interface material. I use isopropyl alcohol and paper towels and then Q-tips with a final wipe with isopropyl alcohol and coffee filters to limit streaks and debris left behind. Apply your thermal paste how you see fit. I will use the line method for these rectangle shaped dies. I've done this so many times and I'm 100% confident in my application. Reinstall the cooler, don't forget any screws, plug in your fans and battery, then install the bottom panel, test, and enjoy.